want to uh, give you a gift of um, the third annual Sud de France uh, Festival that is going to take place in Europe from June 6 to June 30th. This is a celebration of the Mediterranean lifestyle and the wines from Montblanc Roussillon at the core of the Mediterranean life. Um, we are going to uh, propose a series of events in June and that includes a number of um, educational classes taking place here at the Maison de la Région Montblanc Roussillon. Uh, that's going to be rooftop parties, our lunch party, market calendar, that's going to be on March 6th at the frying pan, this barge docked uh, on the Hudson. Uh, we are going to organize a uh, sommelier contest in collaboration with the American Sommelier Association and plenty, plenty of other events. Um, 120 wine stores and restaurants are involved in the festival. They are going to propose wine tasting, special mid menus all over the city, and uh, so Brooklyn, Queens, Manhattan, and Manhattan. Uh, so tonight, this, uh, with us, we have Hervé uh, Diesel, I mean, two fantastic winemakers from Long Lost Mission. Hervé Diesel, who's here, unfortunately, he couldn't make it uh, to New York uh, because of passport issues, but we are still going to communicate with him through Skype. Uh, Christian Dalbavi is his supporter and is, is going to be able to talk about his wine also. And we have uh, Luc Rodet from uh, Chateau Masneuf, who is also going to share with us um, his idea of Blanc de la Croussion wine. Uh, we also have Jem Harris, wine critic and Blanc de la Croussion expert, who can answer any question on Blanc de la Croussion you, you could possibly have. And finally, I'm going to, I'm going to let uh, Keith talk about uh, his uh, recent experience in Nord Pression. He's just returned from the from the region. Yes. Hey, everybody. Hey. Hi, Hi Keith. Let me do this one. Turn around. So, cheers. So yes, I just got back. It was, I was honored. It was, um, I'm a I'm a, a wine merchant, and I have a wine bar down in the. East Village is why I wear T-shirts and screw kicks. Just want, you know, my whole idea is to make wine fun and easy to drink, and it's just about enjoying wine. And that kind of um, that kind of focus uh, allowed me to fall in love with the wines of Blanc de Crucion because it was a, it was an idea that I had that wine does not have to be expensive to be good. And everyone has to admit that French wine has to be expensive to be good, which is not true. And one of the best ways of getting into French wine is Blanc de Crucion. So I started doing all these video blogs about the area because I got obsessed with it. And I was honored to be invited to Lando Crucion recently for a week to spend five days with a video camera going from towards the Rhone River all the way to the Pyrenees Mountains, just stopping through some amazing places. Um, I had a chance to go to Mustaloof. And um, I just, um, as a New Yorker, as an American, um, exposing myself to this wonderful area, I, I have to say, I've never seen anything like it. I think it's an, an amazing place, it's a beautiful place, it's the largest wine producing region, but it is much more than that. It is much more than an area that the media and, um, and the, the history books have said it is the area, of the, 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 the sea of wine or whatever, it's more than that. It's a bunch of passionate people doing amazing work in the vineyards, taking care of their vineyards like they would take care of their children and making amazing wine. And the, 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 the variety and the, the focus and is across the board absolutely amazing. The passion is out of control. A lot of sustainable agriculture going on. I don't say biodynamic, I don't say organic because they are biodynamic, some of them are organic, some of them are certified, some of them are not, but it doesn't matter because they're all sustainable and that's what's important. They are taking care of the places that they have and they're very passionate about their wine. I was given the honor to go and check this out. I actually have um, now eight and a half hours of footage <laughs> that I'm currently trying to edit. Um, and I'm hoping to represent it very well. But I uh, had a great time, and I'm honored to be a part of this. So enjoy. Woo! Thank you. Thank you. But uh, anyway, it is, it is uh, indeed a pleasure to present the wines of La Commission to everyone. Um, one of the things that he mentioned was the, uh, the size of the region. It is the largest wine region uh, in the world. It's a single unit. Uh, and in terms of wine production, it is 
by far the, the largest in the world. If you were to combine Bordeaux with Australia, with Chile, with South Africa, you would still not quite have the same amount of wine as you made in the Mission. Now, in this wine, which I can call a sea of wine, okay, um, there are a, a great, there's a great diversity. The Lago Mission basically stretches from the Rhone River Delta, uh, which is just, just west of Marseille, all the way to the Spanish border. Uh, it is uh, roughly 200 miles driving from, from one from one tonight into the other, given the highways are, uh, and extends up to about 70, 80 miles inland. Uh, this is a very, it's very diverse uh, geographically, topographically. Uh, there are hillsides, there are uh, valleys, there are flatlands, there is seaside influence, there is uh, for the men in the Mediterranean, there's Atlantic influence. Uh, you find commercially viable quantities. Yeah, I don't mean just like, but I mean just to say that people actually produce it in, in ways that they can actually make a living from, maybe not a great living, some of them, but uh, a living from, as opposed to coffee, but virtually every wine style that we can think of that includes still red wines, uh, white wines, sparkling wines, and uh, superb sweet wines, uh, some of the late harvest, but also fortified wines that uh, most of us think about when we think about port, wines like that. Uh, and in fact, the Lady Christian, uh, which is France's oldest wine region in Provence, uh, in fact, is the birthplace of the sparkling wines that are uh, the method that we you know is Mento Champagnoise, the Champagne method, now in, in, in South France, it's Mento Traditionnel. Uh, as well as uh, the birthplace of fortified wines. Um, today we have two winemakers here, which in fact um, very uh, succinctly represent the diversity of the of La de Roussillon. La de Roussillon has a hyphen between Roussillon, so in fact it's two different, so big, and two different regions to it. New comes from the eastern edge of La de uh, uh, which is the Costa del which in fact is also a Rhone Valley region, so you have Rhone Valley wines as part of Lando. And Herve comes from Roussillon, which is much closer to Spain. Uh, the wines are both, they each make, are quite distinctive. Um, they are, uh, perhaps they have the same passion for wine, but in fact they're two different regions uh, with two different climates, influenced by the Mediterranean, of course, but in fact have quite a different uh, mentality. So it's a real pleasure to, to welcome both of them uh, and who's going to speak first.